Hi, I'm Harriet. And I'm Damien, aka Ruby, Ruby and, and James, James from Exon Hall. And you can now exclusively watch the first minutes of the first episode here. somewhere here. Have fun. Everyone has their own world full of possibilities. To dream their own dreams, to be who they want to be, to love whoever they want. We all have the power to shape our own destiny, whether we use it or not. This is James Beaufort's voicemail. Leave me a message. James, I totally messed up. Dad's going to lose it. I used to let Cyril's. I don't know what to do. I'm on my way right now. Oh yeah, there he is. The gentleman of the evening. The greatest, the gorgeous, and every woman's dream boyfriend. James! Beaufort! <laughs> <laughs> so, was she as good as she looked, Tom? Hey, fuck the both of you. That's my sister you're talking about, man. Fucking chill out, Alistair. Yeah, I need to call. Oh, shit! Come on! Come on! Hey, Lydia. We missed you last night. Hey, James. Your sister's here and she's bringing bad vibes to the party. Lydia. <laughs> Lyd, what's wrong? Tell me, come on, breathe. <laughs> really? Read the fucking room, dude. Hey, what happened to you? She was standing in front of us. She just barged in. Yeah. Who? Ruby. Ruby Bell. She saw us. The British press will destroy me. Dad will kill me. He won't forgive me for another scandal. Just breathe with me. And now, calmly, from the beginning, what's happened here? And who is this Ruby Bell? Summer, then. I bought the books on the Oxford reading list and read every book twice. <laughs> so, yeah. Some reading for you. This is enough material for a biography. I think a little reference shouldn't be a problem. Everyone deserves a world full of opportunities. And if there's one place where those opportunities begin, it's at Oxford University. The world welcomes those who have studied there. And if everything goes as planned during this term, then in less than 365 days, I will be there. Maxton Hall College is my entry ticket. It's not just a school. It's one of the schools.
I worked diligently in my room for months to be awarded a scholarship. Of course, that makes me the exception here. For generations, families like the Beauforts have had more money and power than some royal families. For them, every door swings open. British nobility, the son of the Manchester United coach, the cousin of the Emir of Dubai, they're all here. They go to the same parties, get the same jobs, and marry the same people, a microcosm of millionaires. And I almost forgot. Besides money and influence, my fellow students have another thing in common. I am invisible to them. I immediately realized this was my superpower. If I want to get to Oxford in less than a year, I can't afford to make any mistakes, especially in front of this crowd. The less they notice me, the better. Well, did you hand it in? Just gave it to him. Oh, I wish I'd asked Mr. Sutton for a reference too. He's so cool. Mrs. Campbell is just as good. Wasn't she her year's valedictorian at Oxford? Yeah, in 1890. <laughs> Lynn was one of them too, until a year ago when her parents divorced and their business collapsed. How did she manage to get through it? No idea. At least that's what my internet research has revealed. But the collection of works on the theory of justice that you recommended to us best reflects the contents of the foundation of the metaphysics of morals and the critique of practical reason. Thank you. Yes, exactly. And that's why I always say this here... This here is Google for the old folks. <laughs> but back to Kant. Mr Smith, what do you think? Kant saying that we should all just do unto others as you would have them do unto you. That's the Bible, not Kant. <laughs> what though if Kant's meaning of categorical imperative is his way of telling us we should ignore the consequences of what we're doing, if what we're doing feels right? Miss Bell. Reasoning was placed at the core of Kant's philosophy, not how we feel. Then maybe Kant is less relevant than we think then. Humans are able to reason, but they usually make decisions on how they feel though. That's what makes it so interesting. The fact that we can decide differently if we could do becomes the moral strength in us. Yeah, eloquently put. Okay, let's turn to the next chapter. I can't believe the welcome party is already the day after tomorrow. I feel like I've spent half the summer talking to electricians and caterers that don't really know what they're doing. And don't forget the great selection of stone DJs. We really have to book the sober one today. Oh, a resume and all that it involves. Damn it. What? I forgot something. I have to go and see Mr. Sutton. I'll see you later. Okay. Ruby, I, uh... I, uh, I can explain this. You see, all this, I, I can explain it. I just really don't know what it looks like. Ruby! 